So we are taking pictures of Comet 3A Atlas using this telescope. I posted a video of my picture that I took from the last uh, two days ago. I think it came out mostly grainy, a little bit of a smudge, uh, not much. We know like now the comet is out from the uh, sun, like behind the sun. So it's available for us to take pictures using telescopes. Eight inch or more, uh, you need a camera and you need a longer exposure. Uh, not with the cell phones and all, not bright yet. But the good news is two days ago, it was like magnitude 14, so very faint. Uh, this morning when I took picture, it is magnitude 10. So it's getting brighter. Uh, maybe in few days, uh, we may be able to watch this, maybe with a binoculars. We need to see if it gets brighter, we might be able to do something with it. Otherwise, we can still use telescopes. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel. I do go live when I'm taking pictures and when I'm showing it live, I also make a lot of astronomy videos. So please subscribe to my channel for these. I do have an interesting thing that happened when I'm processing. I did not expect the picture should to look like that. So I'm going to show you guys. So I started collecting data from 5.48 in the morning until 6.11. Uh, I don't think all this data is good. Uh, at least from 6 o'clock onwards, most of the data is actually bad. So really the top few are really good. Even though I collected like 30 frames, I ended up using like 16 frames out of those. So here is the list of frames that I was able to use, right? So somewhere in the 15, 16 minutes from 5.38, 5.40 onwards, after that it got way too bright. By the way, they're asking questions like, where am I? I'm in Leander, Texas. I'm in Austin, near the north of Austin. I'm in central time zone. Okay, so quickly, I wanted to show you the rundown of this process, right? So I was able to take these pictures, like these 16. These are the ones that I used like to look at it. And also I created a master file of all these 16 files, right? Which actually I used to see where this comet is, right? Let me show you that process. So I use a program called ASTAP, which is a astrometric stacking program. I briefly commented about this in my previous video. So this particular program is going to tell me where my telescope went and took pictures. And it actually uh, reads all the data and then figures out what comets, what asteroids are there in my pictures, right? I, that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to open the master file that I built based on these 16 pictures. And that's th that is this, right? I'm just trying to not zoom in, but So this is basically the master file. I know I'm trying to adjust this so that at least we can see where the comet is. So I will plate solve it. When I plate solve it, it is going to recognize the coordinates, the celestial coordinates, the rate ascension and the declination. And it identified that and it said it is plate solved. So it knows where this image took from like in the entire sky here are the here is the address where this picture came from that's what the software knows now right now i'm asking okay go and find my asteroids and comets and when i say that i'm giving magnitude of 16 because this comet is getting bright so it is coming from i believe at least 14 down to 10 now so it means it's getting brighter by day so we are in a good shape one day actually to be able to see the comet maybe with the binoculars. Let's see if that's possible. We are still hopeful. So this is the three atlas. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So 
So this is the three I Atlas that we are watching. It has some core uh, to it. It has some core uh, functionality like right here, right? I I'll redo it again. Yeah, so let's do one more time. So you are seeing the three eye atlas right now. So the comet is here. This is all the coma around it, right? And then there are some bunch of stars. So it kind of gives you some idea at least how the comet is looking like. It's better than the previous pictures that we were taking. Now it is getting a bit more clear. The color of green, it could be blue, it could be whatever. This program is bringing up that in the color green, uh, but it could be very well red or blue or whatever, right? All right, so that's, we know where the comet is, right? It is there in the middle of the picture, a little bit to the top, there are three stars. Here is the comet, right? So I'm going to close this. We don't need this anymore. And I wanted to show you the picture itself. So we are all interested in seeing how this comet looks like and here is our opportunity uh, to see that. Okay. There you go, folks. So this is our comet that we are talking about. I will zoom in further. So that's Comet 3i Atlas. It has some halo around it. I don't know, this is a star or is developing something. We need to see, but it showed up. It could be passing a star very well, right? Um, so this is showing a lot of halo now. I didn't see this much halo like two days ago. So this is interesting. <laughs> But it doesn't have a tail. Maybe this is tail, I have no idea. But there is no there is no tail yet. Imagine this comet if you are looking at with extremely powerful telescope with all that halo on it. It might look like very big. I saw a picture from NASA. There was a picture there from NASA where it actually shows that kind of a glow. <laughs> yeah, this is the picture I was talking about from NASA's website, right? You see that? So at some point of time, the Sphere X took a picture. Okay. I was wondering what this picture was. Now it is slightly making sense that maybe the comet is somewhat looking like with all the hair around it, right? We don't know. We we got up to this point to take a picture, so... I did took some time lapse, which I wanted to share with you all. So I'll keep this away for a second. Uh, the program that I'm using is called PixInsight. It's a very expensive program. It's only good for astrophotographers. And there's a bit of learning curve using this program. But it processes the pictures that we took using the telescopes. Okay, so... Now when I see this comet, Right? And if I <laughs> zoom in, 
uh, the first picture is no good it's not focused well so i'll start with the second one yeah so it's better focused so this is the comet and same as the one you are seeing here so the difference between these two is this one is a combined picture and this is a single picture that's the only difference okay and if we see if we can track this you will start seeing it moving you see that it's going somewhere yep see So that's comet 3A Atlas. I don't know. It looks to me like it is um, circling, tumbling, and most asteroids and comets do that. When they are in the space, they either revolve around or tumble. Yeah, it looks like it's a giant rock. tumbling circling with all the coma it is going in the sky yeah. but no tail not like a comet so this is an interstellar comet this is my first interstellar object by the way i never took pictures of this before so if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel you are seeing the actual picture of comet 3a atlas not cgi not artificial not like nasa's picture so if you want to see more of this please subscribe to my channel click on the notifications uh, i have more videos coming up um like live also i whenever i take pictures i go live and show you live pictures of these I hope you all liked it. Thank you very much for watching. Clear skies.